Good morning, and thank you for tuning in to the Weather Network. Michelle Mackey joining you with Nicole Karkik. Let's start our weather story with a recap, the Thursday exactly. high Exactly. So looking at yesterday, the warmth is going to be in the west, where Calgary got up to 10 degrees yesterday. Usually the daytime high is around the freezing mark. Yeah. But look at the east, Michelle. We've got Toronto, minus 14, and even colder for today. That's right. It is a trend that is going to continue. But Thursday, we actually broke some records. If you look at the high in Lethbridge, 13 degrees. Meanwhile, in Orlando, 11. Yeah, so warmer in Lethbridge than Orlando. That's well, Michelle. Uh, but things tapering off before another storm this weekend. That's right. And the temperatures, they're going to be frigid this morning. It's going to be feeling like minus 12 when mm -hmm. we factor in that wind chill. So not only are you going to need to bring the snow gear, but dress warm as well. Exactly. Montreal a lot colder, too, at minus 19. And this morning, desperately cold. We still have extreme cold warnings blanketing southern Ontario. Toronto, minus 21. Ottawa feels like minus 32. And those northwesterly winds aren't helping matters at all. The cold does extend into uh, northern Manitoba, but other than that, the Prairie Provinces this afternoon, not as bad as uh, yesterday. We've got Saskatoon at minus 8 and Winnipeg minus 13. Yeah, it's actually colder this morning in Ontario than what we're seeing through the Prairie Provinces. Not as cold as what we've seen the past couple of weeks you mentioned. Now, this morning, Lethbridge, one, feeling like minus three. That's really not bad, is not it? Not too bad, not too bad, <laughs> but it is going to cool down significantly as we head into tomorrow morning. Uh, for Winnipeg, look at that, minus 38. And we are getting that bit of a cool down in through Alberta. Calgary tomorrow, you'll be around the freezing mark. Our musty video takes... I would say whoever's filming this was uh, pretty brave. Braver than I would be. I wouldn't be out there. Thank you very much. Oh, getting too close. Yeah, exactly. Now, we are dealing with a low-pressure system as we track further to the Atlantic. You can see we really have the highest amounts up through Labrador. We also have a wide array of warnings, including blizzard warnings for exactly. the area. Exactly. Uh, Hopedale could get up to 30 centimeters of snow. We also have a freezing drizzle warning towards Gander this morning, and uh, it is going to taper off. You get a break day into tomorrow, but then another round does come as we head into the weekend. And yes, snow on the way for southern Ontario. We'll have details on how much and the timing of this ahead. Well, if you're heading south this weekend, here's what you are leaving behind. This afternoon, we are really getting into those severe wind chills through central and eastern Canada. Remaining warm in the west, above seasonal, but certainly not as warm as these temperatures. You can see we do have some cloud cover through the Caribbean. NASA, 27 degrees, so the warm temperatures are in place. Meanwhile, into Miami, Florida, 23 degrees and sunny skies, looking like a perfect weekend to head south. Good morning, Canada. Nicole and Michelle with you are developing stories. Extreme cold, a cause for concern. Temperature records cold and warm and widespread snow into the weekend. It will be uh, good for skiing weather, I suppose, for some. Uh, a blanket of warnings here, Michelle. Yeah, we really are dealing with quite a few warnings, particularly up through Labrador, where we are seeing significant snowfall mm. amounts, blizzard conditions, and that is all thanks to a departing Atlantic low. But as we track further into the west, you can see Ontario and yes. extreme cold warning in effect. Yeah, in fact, uh, schools closed in the Kitchener-Waterloo region because of the cold. We've got Toronto in the extreme cold up towards Ottawa as well and north towards Dryden. So it's feeling closer to the minus 40s. That means frostbite within 10 to 30 minutes is possible. And in northern Manitoba, also the extreme warning, but this afternoon in the prairies, not as cold as yesterday. That's right. These really are dangerous conditions when it's this cold. Mm -hmm. Now, outside uh, dealing with these cold temperatures, we have Mike Arsenault. We'll be joining Mike throughout the hour. Uh, but for now, we uh, begin with, uh, you know, a look across the country this morning, what we can see in terms of the wind chills. That's right. Uh, Ottawa feeling like minus 32, but over on the other end, we've got Calgary at plus one, feeling closer to minus four. Vancouver, six degrees. I'll let you see that. Uh, so very mild, and it will stay mild into southern Alberta uh, for this afternoon, uh, but getting closer to seasonal by the weekend. That's right. Now back to our Atlantic story. Here's the snowfall totals that we've seen since Thursday. Charlottetown, only has about three centimeters of snow, but when you put that on top yes, of there's, we're sitting at about 350 right now, and the winter isn't over, and there is uh, some more storms on the horizon. Right now, just the snow tapering off in northern New Brunswick, the Gaspé Peninsula under a winter storm warning, however, and the freezing rain warning has dropped in St. John's. Yeah, we actually had about 20 plus hours of freezing rain, freezing yes. drizzle through the Avalon Peninsula <laughs> yesterday. Now, we are going to see some clearing throughout the afternoon, but before we get there, we mentioned lots of 
snow expected for Labrador. Let's transition now. All right. Well, I can't wait to see his best Travolta today. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready sure for Mike's it. a good dancer. <laughs> All right, glad you could join us, Nicole and Michelle, with your developing stories: extreme cold, cause for concern, temperature records cold and warm, and widespread snow into the weekend. It's going to be messy for some. Yeah, it really is. You know, let's begin with the wind chill, though. What we expect this morning. You can know we're really dipping down into central Canada. Toronto minus 35, Montreal minus 32 with the wind chill. So it is frigid. If you're heading out, you know, dress warm. You're going to need it. Exactly. And as we look to the east, uh, just a peek here at all the colors. That means a lot is going on. Western shores of Newfoundland around Cornerbrook, Stephenville. Tonight, snow squalls start to ramp up. We do have blizzard warning in Hopedale, up to 30 centimeters there. And I'm sort of hiding it here. But in Quebec uh, for Lac St. Jean, there is a blowing snow advisory. Gas Bay Peninsula looks messy as well, Michelle. That's right. Now, back to Ontario, where, of course, the big story is this cold air yes. that's gripping the province. And because of that, we do have an extreme cold warning in place. It encompasses, you know, all of southern Ontario, eastern Ontario as well, with wind chill values feeling like the minus mid 30s. It's, it's dangerous. It, exactly. So outside on exposed skin, uh, 10 to 30 minutes, you can get frostbite. Anything marked in purple today. So that includes Val d'Or as well. Now we've got uh, snow in the prairies as well. This mm -hmm. is all associated with a weak Alberta clipper. You can see higher amounts, though. Uh, that's because we have some downsloping winds through the foothills in Alberta. Exactly. And southern Saskatchewan, just some light snow today, under five centimeters. And temperature-wise, not doing too bad in the prairie provinces. Snow on tap. Uh, moving in tonight, you'll see some scattered flurries in southern Ontario. And then it starts to get a little bit more intense for the afternoon tomorrow through the overnight. And by Sunday morning, Toronto's about five to ten centimeters of snow. Good news for skiers, though. I'm going snowshoeing up north in Toronto this weekend. So this puts a smile on my face. It's not all bad news. Stay with us. Well, the highway conditions through western Newfoundland may be a bit slow going. As we look on our radar, you can see we are picking up on some snow, some mixing through places like Cornerbrook, also dealing with some light flurries as we head into New Brunswick, so may be slow going there as well. Here's how much snow we're dealing with. You can see the significant amounts are pushed up towards Newfoundland, but nonetheless, we are looking at widespread less than five centimeters through Newfoundland. Meanwhile, as we head to the west coast, mostly clear conditions, some low-lying fog to start the day. Thanks for tuning into the Weather Network. Michelle Mackey, joined by meteorologist Nicole Karkic. We certainly have a lot to talk about. Let's talk, first of all, our developing stories. Extreme cold gripping the province of Ontario. These are well below seasonal, to yes. say the least. Meanwhile, as we look to the west, we are actually talking about record-breaking warmth for this time of year. And into this weekend, snow on That's tap. right. So it's Friday, so you need to know who is going to see the messiest weather for travel. This morning, we can say Toronto is sitting at minus 24, feeling closer to minus 34. That's why we have the extreme cold warning still in place. And the city of Toronto has had 26 cold weather alerts this year. Last year, there were 36. So we're catching up to that. Uh, Halifax, minus five. Look at St. John, seven degrees, just shy of a record for the day. That's right. And we do have some active weather to talk about in Atlantic Canada. Charlottetown's already picked up three centimeters of snow mm -hmm. since way, Nicole. There is uh, not too much for Charlottetown itself for today. Just some scattered flurries. Uh, for New Brunswick, the same thing. But for the Gaspé Peninsula, uh, uh, towards uh, Lac de Saint Jean, we are looking at some blowing snow advisories there, so travel still tricky again. And for this afternoon, it's looking good in southern Ontario for traveling, but then the light flurries will pick up and the snow will ramp up tomorrow afternoon, heading towards Montreal. What's that? Such a royal looking dog. <laughs> he is. So regal. Now we're also <laughs> dealing with snow as we head into the prairies, generally less than five centimeters of snow. This is associated with a weak Alberta clipper, mm -hmm. but you can see higher amounts through the foothills, Nicole. Yeah, that's right. Just a little bit of upsloping. We're going to get uh, some higher amounts. And Calgary, zero today for the daytime high. After basking in the heat, it's going to uh, feel a little bit more like winter. But Thursday, this is the record-breaking highs that we saw on the West Coast. And for this afternoon, Michelle, temperatures uh, not too bad in Alberta. You're more seasonal. And for the Prairie Provinces, not cold today, but you're going to get the extreme cold down this weekend. Thanks so much for tuning into the Weather Network. Michelle Mackey joining you. Beginning our forecast on the east where we are tracking some snowfall amounts due to a low pressure system coming through the Atlantic. You can see the higher amounts are through Labrador. That snow set to continue as we head through Saturday evening. Also dealing with a weak Alberta clipper into the west. You can see generally less than five centimeters of snow. But as we get into the foothills, expect those amounts to get higher. Into Saturday, we are going to see snowfall through Ontario. 
Mike's really doing a great job out there. It almost <laughs> looks like his face is a bit numb. So mm. poor guy, but all for you viewers, right? We have a lot to talk about here. Some of our developing stories, of course, that extreme cold that's, that's gripping right. Ontario. Meanwhile, in the West, record-breaking warmth yes. and widespread snow as we head into the weekend, Nicole. That's right. It's Friday, so we have to be prepared for where we're going to see the most snow. And for this morning, yes, it's all about the cold. Toronto, minus 24. And actually, at Pearson, we're on track to be the coldest February on record in terms of our average temperature. So it's that cold. Halifax, minus 5. But St. John's, plus 7, Michelle. And on the other hand, Calgary, not too bad, at plus 1. But the extreme cold blanketing Ottawa, Toronto up towards uh, places like uh, Timmins and the Nickel Belt. Yeah, widespread. We are talking about wind chill values, yes. minus 30, minus 45. And when it is that cold, it really does become dangerous being outside. You know, it doesn't take long for frostbite to kick in on exposed skin. No, exactly. Especially in the morning hours. Now in the afternoon, we'll get that sunlight a bit warmer. Northern Manitoba in the extreme uh, cold as well. Same story of parts of Quebec and through Val d'Or. Montreal not included, uh, but doesn't mean you're not cold. Just below the warning criteria. We take is a system moving into the maritime provinces and for charlottetown unfortunately you've seen you saw three centimeters yesterday so not too bad what we have coming next is a rain snow mix for the city so it's just going to make those snow packs really heavy yeah. if anyone has the roofs that they need to shovel those snow packs off do it now because it's going to get really heavy out there exactly and we're still dealing with a wintry mess as we head up into newfoundland labrador mm -hmm. that's all thanks to a departing low making yeah. way for the next system yeah, and here's so. what we can expect in terms of our snowfall totals mm -hmm. through Saturday evening you can see up through Goose Bay into Labrador that's where we're talking about 15 20 plus centimeters of snow yeah so definitely Labrador seeing the worst of it right now we've got uh, parts of New Brunswick not too bad and then Ontario uh, this afternoon you'll start to see those light flurries picking up into the evening but then tomorrow through the afternoon that's when it starts to ramp up Toronto to Montreal five to ten centimeters of snow and the prairies as well seeing some snow in southern Saskatchewan and Alberta through the weekend some great tips and you may feel the dry skin if you are in central or eastern Canada. You can see a lot of these purples indicative of temperatures minus 15 or below before we factor in the wind chill mild in the west. Well, if you're heading south this weekend, here's what you are leaving behind. This afternoon, we are really getting into those severe wind chills through central and eastern Canada. Remaining warm in the west above seasonal, but certainly not as warm as these temperatures. You can see we do have some cloud cover through the Caribbean. NASA, 27 degrees, so the warm temperatures are in place. Meanwhile, into Miami, Florida, 23 degrees and sunny skies looking like a perfect weekend to head south.